What's up guys, Bradley Sutton from Helium 10, and today we're talking about our Chrome extension and a new feature within our review downloader. All right, so how would you use this? I'm on a listing here, Zhao Nutrition. I saw that they have a thousand reviews. So I'm like, okay, customers probably have a lot of things to say about this product. As a review, part of the re reason or that you would look at co uh, customer reviews, sometimes it's because you wanna see what bad things people are saying about competitors and to see if you can improve on that. But in this case, I'm going to be searching for ideas. Now, what ideas am I talking about? First of all, I'm going to click here and actually click on review downloader. I'm going to go ahead and look at all of the, all of the reviews from January all the way to September. So let's extract it. It's pulling it up here. It's going through all of these reviews and let us see. It's going to come up with a list. Now, until this point, there's nothing new. A lot of you guys have been using this uh, for that, but check this out, analysis. Let me click on here. Basically what this new tool or this new feature is, is it's going through and searching for phrases that appear over and over again a lot. And why would I need this? Well, I might know all of the related words for collagen peptides, but I'm looking for things that are on the mind of other customers that maybe I didn't think of. For example, the number one phrase here is in my coffee. And I see here, it in my coffee, my morning coffee. Look at how many times words that have to do with coffee. So if you were just a complete newbie as far as collagen peptides goes, and you didn't know that people actually put it into their coffee, well, there you have it. This would have triggered something to say, wow, 107 out of the 1,000 reviews, people mention in my coffee. This is obviously on the mind of my customer. So right away, I'm going to make sure that I mention coffee like right in my bullet points, maybe even my first bullet point, because what happens is in your bullet points, you want to make an emotional connection with your customer and appeal to what they're looking for. So if you see everybody's mentioning in my coffee, you probably should mention that in your listing and use that in a prominent place. The other way you can use this is maybe there's something you didn't think of. Maybe you'd already knew coffee. So let me just look here. Um, my coffee every morning in my morning coffee. I mix it using this product, hair and nails. Hair and nails is listed 24 times. That's interesting to me. My nails are listed 21 times, or it appears 21 times in the review. So perhaps you have no idea why in the world somebody would say my nails are, and 21 different people said that. So what I would do here is I would go back to all reviews and export it. And now when I hit export, it downloads the text from all of these reviews, okay? So I click on this, and I want to take a look here under under the body, why people are saying my nails are. So I'm going to look for my nails are. And let's take a look at here. Okay. It says collagen peptides are amazing. They're keto friendly. I put it in my smoothie. My hair has grown significantly. Interesting. My skin looks young. Um... My nails are stronger and grow twice as fast. That's interesting. So somebody actually uses this product and their nails are growing twice as fast. Is that just a one-time thing here? Let me look at somebody else here. I switch from collagen peptides, from vital proteins. Um, it says I stay in my ketosis. I I found that my nails are getting a bit stronger and my skin even. There's another one. So there's already a common theme I'm seeing here. I'm sure it would be the same if I keep going here. So I might not have realized that collagen peptides help people's nails. But by looking at the keywords, normally I might have had to go through. Imagine how, how, how long it would have taken me to read a thousand of those reviews and then tabulate one by one how many times I see certain phrases. That would have been even impossible, even if you had a couple VAs doing it. But within two minutes right here, I was able to see that my nails are was listed 20 to 25 times. And then I actually could go through and see in what context that phrase was appearing. And now maybe that gave me a new idea of what I can use for my listing or for my marketing purposes. Because if 25 different people mention it in the review of one of my competitors, 
that's obviously something on their mind and something that I want to make sure my product does, which is, you know, help people's nails. So again, guys, this new feature is within review downloader and you to hit that, you hit on the Chrome extension and hit review downloader. And once you download the reviews, you click on analysis and that's going to give you the most common phrases that are appearing throughout the reviews. See you guys later. Yeah.